and hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you my thoughts and review for the brand new Marvel uh, TV show What If starring everybody literally everybody from the MCU is in this show so um and it's animated so let's begin if you haven't seen it yet I highly recommend giving it a shot it's actually pretty pretty special so the first thing we see in this thing, we get to hear the narration played by Jeffrey Wright uh, of The Watcher. The Watcher is basically telling the stories of the multiverse and what actually happens in different forms of who becomes who, who, what happens when this happens. And it, the situations are very different. So it depends on what, what we're watching. So the first episode we get to see is um, back in World War II, basically the events of First Avenger. Where we get to see Captain America become Captain America. Except in this case, C. Rogers does not become Captain America. The Super Soldier formula, they were about to give it to him. Unfortunately, something happens. And Hydra tries to prevent that before that actually happens. Instead of afterwards. And Peggy Carter decides she needs to go inside this machine. To prevent it from being destroyed and losing the formula forever. And she ends up becoming a super soldier herself. And we get to see her um, become Captain Carter. As she eventually calls herself later down the road. Of course, her superiors don't believe in her. Don't think that she's worthy of the formula. Doesn't think a woman should be in the front lines of a war. Typical male chauvinist pig stuff. But you know how it is back in that, those days. Especially during World War II, I'm pretty sure a lot of the higher up men didn't want the women um, being in charge of any kind of command or whatever. Although they were the nurses and they were pretty much the bosses anyway. So, go figure. So, Captain Carter is very different from Captain America. I mean, sure, they have similarities, but there actually are a lot of differences. For instance, Captain Carter, she, um, you know, she doesn't take... She doesn't take, um, you know, the orders that she's being given. You know, they give her orders like, oh, yeah, we, we, we don't need you. You, you. you don't need to be out there. No, she goes out there and does what she needs to do so she can save the, the, the war and protect the people who need our help. So that was pretty cool. We didn't get to see her do the whole, um, you know, political, you know, oh, look, Captain America, kids, look. He's having fun in the play. No, we didn't get to see any of that nonsense because she literally went into the front of the lines and started destroying the Nazis. So that was a lot of fun seeing that. Choreography in this was awesome. You know, normally when you watch a show, especially a brand new show, you want to make sure it hits and like shows us the audience like, wow, this is a cool show. So that way we can keep watching and moving forward. And I think Marvel did that, did that beautifully. They showed us like what they could do with animation animation they have now entered that sandbox of animation possibilities are now endless for them i mean look at look at star wars star wars does animation and it's canon to the star wars movies marvel's doing the same thing here can we imagine a marvel animated film not kind of spider-man spider-man's his own thing so don't count spider-man but seriously if they can if they can start doing animation a lot more, even like this, same form, different styles, whatever, they're going to be very comfortable with the MCU moving forward. You know, they can do a lot of stories that they can not maybe not do live action. They can do an animated and connect and still be canon. So that was cool. So that's actually very impressive that they can do this. And I'm glad they're going to do it now. Hopefully moving forward, they get to keep doing it too. And it's not just this one thing. I hope we get more projects in animated form too. So, you know, that way it can stretch out. I know it's going to be more cluttered, but still, it's going to be fun. But yeah, back to the episode. I mean, we get the. And I, I also appreciated the fact that it was long. It wasn't just a short little film where, oh yeah, Captain Carter now. We have Peggy Carter. She took the formula. She fights the Nazis, fights Red Skull, and then that's it. No, it was actually a good lengthy episode. Probably the same length episode of The Bad Batch from Star Wars. Or even, you know, Rebels or even uh, Clone Wars. I'm not exactly sure how long the episode was, but it was lengthy. So I, I appreciated that too. 
Um, I am glad that the voices are played by every actor from the MCU. That's awesome. You know, you don't have to pay extra money for other actors to come in to rep to replace their, you know, their characters. So um, that's cool. So we're gonna hear. We heard Steve Rogers in here, played by Chris Evans. Obviously, we're gonna. We heard um, Dominic Cooper play Howard Stark, and that was cool. Um, so yeah, you know that that's that's a good that's a good win for me. I I enjoyed that. And even Steve Rogers was cool in here, you know. Obviously, you know, he doesn't have the super soldier for a minute, but it was fun seeing him be just Steve Rogers. Remember, when Steve Rogers first, when we first met him, he was a skinny kid, and he from Brooklyn, who wanted to go into the war and help. Everybody kept turning him down. Everybody kept saying, no, nah, man, this isn't good for you. you you're too skinny. You're going to get yourself killed, literally. And... <laughs> What happens here, I, you know, what, you know, we were expecting, oh, what's he going to do now that he doesn't have the super soldier formula? Is he going to quit? No, he doesn't. He ends up being a hero too. He ends up wearing an Iron Man suit, a, like a prototype kind of thing, built by Howard Stark to help Peggy Carter stop Hydra from pretty much destroying the world with the Tesseract. So we got to see like an early version of a, you know, Iron Man suit and they call it the Hydra Stomper so that was very, very nice to see Steve Rogers get to do something as well and also be a hero as well. And of course, their relationship is still the same. They both still like each other. You know, they both talk about the dance that they want to do. And then, of course, the ending is basically Captain Carter um, sacrificing herself. I mean, not going into the ice like kind of like how Steve Rogers did it. But um, she goes inside the Space Stone, which is the Tesseract. And then comes out the other end 70 years later in the events before the events of um, the first Avengers movie. So that was very interesting seeing how it, it did end. And um, I don't know if they're going to continue that story or it's done already. But um, I kind of want more. Honestly, just the the Peggy Carter, Captain, Captain Britain, you know, Captain Carter moments but you know she was very very good very different from steve she did like she did like fight stuff that steve didn't even do i mean we haven't we didn't get fight choreography from him like that since until endgame literally i mean sure he knows how to fight and how to do combat but with her years of experience and training combined with the super soldier formula the possibilities of her doing things way better than steve rogers was endless literally because she was doing things that not even steve rogers ever did so i really enjoyed all that stuff and she was just hardcore i mean she used the shield a lot different than what captain america did and i like i said i do appreciate them changing that because honestly i didn't want her just to be like captain america yeah you can have some similarities but you also got to make her her own character and they really did that i thought they really flushed her out and made her her own character. And Peggy Carter in the original MCU timeline, she's awesome. We all loved her. Loved that show. Kind of wish it never got canceled. But still, seeing her be Captain Carter was a lot cooler than I thought it was going to be. And I, I, I really liked her now. Kind of wish we got more of her. You know, maybe we'll get more of her down the road. Maybe she'll get her own animated show. I mean, that would be cool. But we have to wait and see what happens. But I'm pretty sure... The story for now is over, but maybe, you know, a lot of people liked it. We'll get more. Possibly, but we have to wait. But I am looking forward to seeing what's going to be next for what's, what if. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. I don't know what it, the next episode is going to be about, but I don't care. I just want to watch it. This animation was great. Like I said before, now that they, they enter in that sandbox of animation, they can even make a... Marvel's Studios Animation Universe or something, you know, make a lot of movies. They can even make movies in animation form. You know, it might be a little bit big rivalry with Pixar, but you never know. It would be fun to see what happens if they could do something like that. Maybe give us an animated movie of Peggy Carter as Captain Carter or something like that, you know. Give us more adventures of the, her and Steve Rogers together. But um, we just have to wait. Um, I am glad that it's on Wednesday, so that's cool. I mean, we have to wait the next Wednesday to see the next episode, but I guess we'll have to we, we have to be used to it, waiting for it. So, yeah, 
So what if is here? And I'm glad it is. And like I said before, it is canon. So it is going to be part of the MCU officially. So that's great. And um, hmm, what else? I am looking forward to see what the next episode is. To see what's going to be different. Because a lot of these are probably going to be based off the actual movies. Just change up a little bit. Like how this movie, like this show, this first episode was basically... Uh, the first Avenger, except it was with Captain Carter, and she ends up being the first Avenger, technically, at the end of it. So, that's kind of cool. So, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Did you guys enjoy it? Not enjoy it? Liked it? Did you guys even watch it? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you very much, and have a good day.